Hi everyone, it's Konzel here. So today let's explore whether AR-50 is really a trap. Because uh, I think that with the proper preparation, it shouldn't be a trap. So let's uh, look at the preparation that I have team. done in uh, lieu of the AR-50. If you look at my rank uh, AESP now, I'm just 450 away from uh, AR-50. And I already have my commissions uh, done, but not collected. If you look at the top left corner, so daily commission rewards is ready for collection. The moment I talk to the NPC, basically I'll be AR-15. Okay. Now in preparation for AR-15, what I have done is uh, I have actually already finished farming all the materials required to ascend all of my uh, weapons across my two teams. i just quickly look through. And this particular farming for the materials was actually done uh, before AR-45 because at AR-40 itself uh, between AR-40 to AR-45 the best thing to do is to farm these materials rather than artifacts since uh, after AR-45 it's 100% chance to get uh, 5 star artifacts from domain each time at least one uh, 5 star artifact per 20 raising if you're lucky you get 2 Okay, but it's much better than uh, between AR-40 to AR-45 because AR-40 you start getting the chance of getting 5 star artifacts but it's not guaranteed. If you're unlucky, you may go quite a few rounds without any 5 star artifact. And we all know that uh, artifact farming is not easy. Number 1 is getting the 5 star artifact. Number 2 is uh, getting the right sub stats. No, right main stat and then the right sub stats. And then upgrading the right substats as well. Because if you're unlucky, you can end up with terrible substats or rather terrible upgrades. So, just to show you guys an example, look at this artifact. I Every single upgrade went into the HP percentage instead of crit damage and attack percent. So, that was completely true. Okay, but I, I, I'm digressing. So, basically, before AR 45, what I did was to find all the materials required for my weapons to ascend them even on my support characters but you don't really need to do that if uh, you only want to focus on DPS characters you can just make sure that you farm enough materials for your DPS characters so that you'll be ready for AR-15 and between AR-45 to 49 I was basically farming all the uh, artifacts and even then right uh, I'm not at a full plus 20 full plus 20 meaning 8 uh, different sets of plus 20 for the 8 characters in the 2 teams I'm not not there yet. I think I only have like 24 or 25 uh, plus 20 artifacts while the rest are plus 16. You should definitely get plus 16 across before you go for from 16 to 20 unless you already got a perfect artifact or you are really working hard to pump out your main DPS. Main DPS you can also go plus 20 first instead of uh, pumping up the artifacts on the sorry instead of pumping up the artifacts on the support character. Okay so for me, I pretty much just showed that I have. Uh, sorry, I pretty much just showed that I have gotten all the weapons ready, and in terms of uh, ascent character ascension materials, in fact, you should start from AR forty eight or forty nine, depending on how many characters you want to ascend. Mm. Now for me, right, the main thing is uh, I forgot to factor in. The amount of adventure SP that the 1.2 update will give. Because uh, we just got it not too long ago, right? And I think I got it when I was AR48. So, effectively, I realized it too late and I only started farming on the uh, 40 raising bosses or the hypno hypothesis. Stasis? Hmm. Okay, not sure what is the plural. So uh, I realized it too late and I only started at uh, like 48.5 of my AR. If I had started earlier, factoring into uh, the experience given from 1.2, I would have at least gotten one more character materials ready for one more character to ascend. And I think we all know that the ascension rate for the drop rate for the ascension uh, material, in particular this particular item here, is really terrible. I was really lucky that uh, while trying to farm for two geo characters, I actually got two drops of this. So that's why the number of materials I have right now is 71. I started from zero. So effectively, this is like an average of 35 of this material 
to get six of these crystals. Six of these crystals here. Okay. So you only need two zero to ascend from 80 to 90. But yet, because of how bad the drop rate of the how bad the draw rate of this uh, gemstone is, you end up getting you end up getting 30 plus of this. Okay. Uh, this obviously with this it means that I can ascend both my uh Zhongli as well as my Ningguan. Sorry, not this. As well as my Ningguan. Okay. Now the third one will be my Razor. I am ready to ascend my Razor as well. And Razor was a bit unlucky. I did not get a single drop of this uh this orange grey uh Vajrada Amethy Amethyst gemstone. Uh, all of it is from crafting, so that's why the materials end up with uh, 37 of this lightning prism instead of uh, 35, which was the slightly better one on the geo. If if I have factored in the 1.2, uh, the amount of AASP that the 1.2 update itself gives, I mean from the story quest, world quest, chest, etc. I probably will have enough uh, materials to ascend either one more character such as Fisher. Or child, yeah. So unfortunately, I didn't factor in that, so I only have three. But with all this preparation in place, right? Let's see if AR fifty is really a trap. Uh, before before I ascended at world level six right now, uh, with a current comp, I can actually burst down, uh, devaling in one wave, as well as uh, devaling as storm terror. I can also burst down the jail boss in one wave as well. So I'll probably do a test on the geo boss later after I ascend. Alright, so now let's talk to the NPC. Okay, let's get our 500 EAEXP from commissions. Whoa, like. Okay, there you go, we got AR-50. Let's claim the reward first. Nice, we got acquainted fate. Oh, sorry, acquainted fate. And the next one is where we need to pump it up to world level 7, right? Okay, now before that, right, I believe I can already do some of the items here, such as ascension, as you can see. So we will ascend Zhongli, well, because I like him, even though he's not actually a main DPS per se. Nice. All five, all five stars. Should I call that a star? Seeing that there's only four ends. Yeah. Okay, so Joe damage bonus increase. That's very nice. Along with HP. Okay, next is Ningguan. She's my, basically my main DPS on the Joe team. Again, there's Joe damage increase. And also some slight increase in attack. Okay. Okay, now next is Razor. Or oh, the very last one in fact, since I only have three material three characters worth of materials. So again his physical damage bonus is increased. It's very very nice. Uh obviously this percentage is with including what you have from the artifacts. So now I have total of 88.3%. Okay, pretty nice. Okay. Now the next thing to do is to level them up. Uh, my priority goes to my Ningguan as the main DPS. And it's going to be very a heavy, very heavy consumption to get up to ninety. Uh, I will go with eighty nine first. Okay, because I still want to be able to get the remaining SP three thousand of it just from farming normal mobs. In fact, I think I overshot a bit. I should have left like twenty plus K. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is Razor. So with one five seven, we, we I had three hundred plus just now. So basically, I can only level two characters to eighty nine. That's the gist of it, right? Okay. Let's see with this how far away we are from. Okay, then in that case, I can still do it. We are still very far from the uh, 90, by the way, 
for the uh, razor. Okay. Now the next thing is the weapons. Sorry, weapons. Let's ascend all the weapons that I can. I probably won't. This will be my either my third or fourth weapon to increase to level 90 once I get enough ores. Because right now I think I only have 500 plus ores, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so first off, let's ascend. The next thing to do is to enhance this. I have no doubts about enhancing this because Ningguan is my main DPS. And she's only going to get better with the 1.3 update to the uh, Geo Resonance. Unfortunately, we have to finish all the 1 star first. Let me just finish out all the materials. Look at the amount of SP required from 80 to 81. It's almost 200k SP. Which means about... How many ores? 100? Okay, I have 526. I clicked it a bit too, too fast, but I have 526 uh, Mystic Ops and I just used up 363 to get it from 80 to 90 and I actually had like a bit of SP before that even so it's even more Mystic Ops required than 363 Okay, but at least now we have a level 90 uh, Lost Prayer to Secret Winds for Ningua Unfortunately, I don't have memory of dust because uh, when the banner was there uh, the one with the memory of dust. I, I wasn't that uh, much or that high of a spender yet. But this is nice. Basically, with the new weapon, I have gotten about a boost of 200 attack. I My Ningguan was at 1773 or 75 before I ascended. So with the character ascension plus the weapon ascension, as well as the leveling up from uh, 80 to 89, as well as the weapon from up to 90 as well, we now have almost a 200 boost. And crit rate, we got an additional 3.1% as well. So all in all, it's uh, very good. Now, we have to see how it measures up against uh, the world level 7. Okay. Okay, let's ascend this. Votex Vanquisher. The Joe Daddy's weapon. But I'm not going to enhance it. I will enhance uh, whatever of my remaining ores will go to the Razor's weapon since it's the main DPS on my other team. Okay. Rust R5. Definitely I will ascend this. It's basically almost BIS for Child. Skyward Heart is only slightly better because of uh, the buffs, that, the other buffs that it gives, uh, and mainly the fact that the Elemental Burst does more damage with uh, Skyward Heart rather than Rust. But on normal hits, Rust is actually pretty much the same as Skyward Hub. Okay. Our next one is... I've ascended 4 weapons already. So now let's ascend the remaining 4. Streamless uh, for Fisher, I think is a no-brainer. So we will ascend this. And we will ascend the Skyward Pride. Which is BIS for Razor. Okay, I've run out of Slime Concentrate. But... Not to worry, I actually have a lot of it. I just need to craft it in alchemy. Okay, Sucrose is really good for this, although I find that the 10% is a bit low for my liking. Okay, so if you look at the 10% rate, right, I should be getting at least 2 bonus, but I only got 1 bonus. So, well, it is what it is. Don't really have a choice on this since it happened, right? Okay, so I was at Skyward Pride. Now we'll just ascend this. Okay. And we will enhance this as well. But I'm pretty sure I don't have enough uh, Mystic Orbs to enhance this to 19. Yeah, as you can see. 
I even with all the uh, the other access uh, of the other all type of ores, I can only up it to eighty seven. Okay, but I'll still do it because, like I said, he's my main DPS on the other team, and we will slowly amass enough ores to uh, pump up the sword up back to ninety as time goes, especially with the new one point two events uh, that will come on Monday, as well as uh, three days later it's Thursday, right? Yeah, so Monday and Thursday. Oh, and by the way, did you guys see how much my Mora I have left from 2. Point, I think it was 2.8 million and now I have uh, 185k left so we just spent 2.6 million, just like that uh, It's very very very, very uh, expensive to go from 80 to 90 uh, If you look at the other YouTube videos, uh, other YouTubers like uh, Jin Jins and Tuner, right? They already showed you guys how inefficient it is after uh, 60 actually But given the way the content is uh, I would still spend on the uh, my main DPS for sure I'll still ascend them in terms of experience I'll still ascend them in terms of uh, weapons I'll still try to pump their weapons up Yeah. Okay, so two more weapons to refine uh, Sorry, not refine, to ascend in fact, there's no real benefit to ascending the uh, war bow for the support character. But since I already, already farmed all of the materials, I'm just gonna do it. If I had not crafted the materials to the uh, yellow grade or orange grade, right, then it made sense for me to keep them. So if you guys are low on resources, don't don't ascend every single weapon like what I'm doing right now. You should still only ascend your main DPS and specific characters that you feel uh, is useful in terms of like the energy recharge, for example. I really like the energy recharge that the Fervonus Warbow gives because it's like 55.9%, very substantial amount. The Lance, on the other hand, is not that high, but the attack is high, so it's a trade-off. Oh, more slimes again. Okay. Luckily, I have a lot of slime. Uh, Concentrate to use on. Okay, we need to craft the slime execution secretions now. Unfortunately, for this, I don't know why. Uh, using controller, you can't hold on to it. You have to manually press this. I think 50, 50 plus is fine. See if we can get a five bonus. Okay, 6, that's slightly better than the 10% rate itself. With the listers update, I realized that every time you craft an item, you basically lose control. I, 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 can't, I can't assess the menu after that. I have no idea why. Okay, let's craft, uh, say, 15 here. See if we get 1 or 2 back. 1 or 2 bonus. Okay, let's go. Mm, nice, we got 3. Okay, now my Mora is seriously low, 138k. So I guess you can say it's a trap in the sense of the resources and Mora required. But the thing about AR50 is uh, although there are slight increase in the drop rates, right? But no matter what, it's still an increase in my opinion. Okay. Uh, and not to mention in the new 1.2 events, your world level will also determine the amount of fragments that you get as well. Mm. Okay, so where were we? Yep, the very last weapon, which is the Favonus Lance to ascend. Okay, so we are good to go in terms of the character ascension quest. I will structure the video such that you guys can skip ahead to after the world level has been increased if you are not interested in watching that if you are then you can just continue watching on yeah okay belief is always the same temple that we go to for the ascension which is uh, the same one that's the midsummer wait okay the same one as the midsummer's uh, courtyard artifact domain I'm just going to use my Geo team here because I think my Geo team is uh, honestly speaking stronger. Oh, wait, but there are quite a number of elements that you need here, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. 
just don't have cryo right and anymore. The dungeon is always the same anyway for the ascension. Just takes quite a bit of time to clear. Unfortunately, I don't have my burst ready for all of my characters. Let's ignore the ruin guard first. Oops. Okay. He's a wood god. The ruin god. Let me jump first. Okay, that's unlucky. I hate it when he does this spin move. Uh, when you have your auras uh, cast down. Suspect the AI does that on purpose. Okay, finally. Finally, my burst is ready on the Zhongli. Although I did make a mistake, I should have cast my steals. Okay. Yeah, I should have cast my steals just now. Uh, it's okay, because I needed the shield first. Um, fruits. Guess we can pick a few of them. This part of the Ascension Quest is fastidious in my opinion because you just can just skip everything by gliding all over just glide straight to the very 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 end and you will complete this part Here you go Okay Oh this time the mage did follow us with persistent. Usually he doesn't. Crap. Couldn't get him before the uh he dashed away. Oh, and the Abyss Mage is gone already by the way Because he has went too far from his threshold So now you do, we don't need to fight him again Okay, let's just finish these two archers off Oops okay. So, as you can see right, sometimes my comm does freeze when playing Genshin I already have a new PC coming Just need to wait for it to be delivered By then, I can play high graphics as well, hopefully. Along with uh, video recording or streaming at the same time. Oh man. I hate fighting the, the pyro agent on my Joe team. Let's take out the... Let's take out all the archers first. I find them very irritating. So I need to go to the other side instead. Let's just do this. In 
fair, I'm building a higher creep with my ascended stats. But I forgot to see what level the mob is, whether or not they are already at the higher level or the lower level. It's this way. Doesn't matter, it doesn't deal much damage, honestly speaking. <laughs> Oh, damn, we missed it. That's gonna be bad. All right. I think such should be the last part of the dungeon ascension or oh, ascension dungeon <laughs> Bandit's attack is actually more effective uh, at breaking the shield than dual attacks Ah. There's gonna be a resonance in place. Okay. In fact, they are level 90 and I'm still dealing more damage than uh, I did before with uh, before my ascension. Okay. I don't have bandit out really, so I guess let's just use the uh, food. Electro hypnostasis. Where's the guy? Uh, this current comb is not that good against electrostasis though. Oh my god, it took too long, the meteor. Okay, it's fairly decent. Yeah, I made a mistake. I forgot that the Ascension Dungeon has uh, Electro uh, Hypostasis as a boss. She have gotten more flame characters in Pyro and uh, Cryo. Just one more round, I guess. With uh, Xiang Ling, it will be really easy to clear him. Ouch. To clear it all in one wave. Okay, Bandit. Okay. Guess we got the world level now. As well as the rewards from ascending. Wall level increased to 7, max AR increased to 55. Okay. Okay, so for those guys who have skipped ahead, basically, you will be seeing uh, this next. I will go and do a Joe Hypothesis next.
and we'll see whether or not uh, we can still down him one wave but at least based on what I saw just now on the Abyss Mages my Ningguang was actually doing more damage after I ascended her so that's why I feel that uh, although a lot of people are saying AR50 is a trap right with the proper preparation I think it's still very doable okay, I'm not gonna collect the rewards for the uh, sorry I'm not gonna collect the rewards for the Joe because I already have enough of Joe materials don't think I will be sending another Joe character. What I really need now are uh, uh, SP Tomes, Mora, and Mystic Ops, basically. Okay, let's change team. Okay, so I only have one uh, 89 character here, which is my Razor. And his weapon is not uh, 19 yet, his weapon is uh, 87. Because of the number of ores I have, he just simply ran out. Oh, but I don't have my odds ready, so it's not a fair. Judgment, right? Okay, so let's go and clear some mods first. Get my energy up. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead for that. Okay, so I've got all my energy. Up, oh, all my bursts ready. So let's see. Damage to the pillars are pretty much the same. Oh damn, we missed by a bit. Okay, so I guess that is a slight difference, but it's also because uh, it may also because it's just me being a bit slower. Ah, damn. Oh, and also the fact that my weapon is uh, not 90 yet. Okay. Uh, no wait, I don't want this reward. Alright, so basically I hope this shows you guys that uh, actually preparing for AR-50 will make it less of a trap really. Because I almost down the boss in one go as well. It's just that my Razor doesn't have level 90 weapon. The level 90 weapon was on my Ningguan. So if I had done it the other way around, getting Razor's weapon to 90 and Ningguan to 87, I guess we might we may have been able to clear the boss down to uh, in one wave and there was a slight mistake I made just now I switched my banner a bit too slow uh, because I, I saw my Razor landing the last hit and I was thinking I'll just let him land the last hit but uh, that took away a couple of seconds which that 1 to 2 hits would have made a difference in bursting down the Geo boss in one wave so is AR-50 really a trap? I, I really don't think so because if you prepare your characters accordingly in terms of the weapon essential materials, the character essential materials, you farm them way before AR-50. It's actually okay. Of course, I... In fact, for my Ningguan just now, for my Ningguan just now, if you notice, right, I actually dealt more damage. My crits were doing... My crits on my normal attacks were doing 2 times uh, 1952. Previously, I was doing 2 times 1500 plus. And the mobs of the the level of the Abyss Mage is higher in the Ascension Dungeon. It was level 90 compared to the usual ones where I'm fighting against like 70 plus 80 Abyss Mages. So my Ningguan was actually in fact doing more damage after she ascended full Ascension to level 90, full level to 80, not full level, level to 89 and full weapon to 90. Of course, I am using a 5-star weapon. So maybe that's the reason why I'm even dealing more damage than I did 
on a world level six. So now let's talk about. If, let's say if you are using a four star weapon, I think that minimally you should be able to do the same amount of damage. Okay, so it's natural wherever you go up one a one world level, the mobs are gonna get harder. Your gear also needs time to get get there. But if you prepare beforehand, I actually think that it's not a trap to up your world level. Because you do get better drops, although it's not significantly better, that's why people are doing videos and say that it's not a good idea to advance to AR-15. But the way I say is, if you have prepared enough of your resources, at least on your main TPS, like what I have right now, on my uh, Lingguan and my Razor, I actually do think that uh, increasing the world level is fine. Because by preparing your main TPS such that the moment you hit the increase in world level, you also up your carrots, your main TPS to the maximum that you can as well along with their weapons. I actually think that it's fine. It is actually doable. The content is doable. The content in the game is doable. Okay? So even without 5 star weapons, even without high constellation, you will be able to maintain your damage. If you have 5 star weapons and high constellations, then in the case of like my Ningguan, I'm even dealing more damage with my max ascension uh, weapon, max level of the weapon as well as almost max level of the character, the moment I increase my world level. So I, I hope that is helpful to you guys. So remember, uh, you can farm your weapon ascension materials before AR-45. From AR-45 to AR-48 or 49, you can farm your uh, artifacts. From AR-48 or 49 to 5, AR-15 is the point where you can start farming all the uh, 40 raising bosses for your main TPS characters at the very least. If you don't want to farm for all world characters, it's fine. You should at least focus on getting your main TPS characters ready. To be fully buffed the moment you increase the world level or rather the moment you reach the next uh, significant ar rank which in this case is ar 15. okay i'll still i'll still try my best to pump my uh, ar as up as much as much as much sorry pump my ar up as much as possible by the time i hit ar 55 I would then get the next important milestone which is for the 16 raising bosses sorry the 40 raising bosses to give 100% 5 star artifacts and that is when I can finally improve my Ningguan and my Razor's uh, Gladiator artifacts because honestly speaking they are terrible especially the artifact on my Razor uh, my Hourglass is absolutely horrendous if you look at the stats here these subsets are all terrible but I kid you not this is really the best uh, this was like almost the only attack percentage gladiators uh, loaning that I could get other than this second one which which only which is only slightly better just a 2.7% crit rate okay that's all elemental mastery I guess it's not too bad on razor but it's still not as good as uh, the trifecta the attack percentage crit rate and crit damage okay in this case this is an attack percent uh, our class so mainly what we want is crit rate and crit damage yeah Alright, so thanks everyone for watching. I hope that uh, everyone can appreciate that uh, if you prepare accordingly, you do sufficient preparation. Every time you up your world level, I really don't think it's a trap. Yes, there is an increase in the number of resources required. There is uh, inefficiency per se, but it's still the only way for your character to get stronger against a stronger world level. Okay? So I hope everyone uh, is able to, to follow what I have mentioned and increase their preparation, do the necessary preparation and you'll be ready to up your world level the moment you hit, hit the corresponding adventure rank. Okay. Uh, of course, for F2P, it's going to be much harder to do your resources, but do bear in mind that whatever no matter how fast I level, right, the amount of raising, or rather the amount of adventure ASP from the amount of raising spent, it's going to be the same between wheels and F2P players. Because that is the only way you, you, you can get it, get the ASP, and that's the only way you can uh, you can farm and spend your raising. And it's a matter of how you're going to spend and farm your raising, right? 
the only difference between wheels and uh, F2P or dolphins and F2P is that you the wheels and dolphins do it at a much faster rate because they are spending to on the resins per day. Basically, that's the gist of it. But even for F2P players, right? If you plan your resource preparation accordingly, I really, really do think that it is still possible for you to increase your world level the moment you are ready, the moment you hit the adventure rank. Of course, if you farm, if you find that you are not ready in terms of your preparation, then by all means, do not ascend your world level. Do not increase your world level. You can increase your world level only when you are comfortable with the fact that your main DPS are already to be maxed out in the new uh, adventure rank. Alright, okay, thanks everyone for watching. The video got took a bit longer than expected. Uh, Alright, remember if you like the video, remember to click, uh, sorry, if you enjoyed the content, remember to like the video and click subscribe for more, yeah? Alright, thanks, bye.